So adding the Pac-Man repo was the first thing I did when setting up my system, even though this is the second section you're seeing, because I know a lot of people are curious about installing NVIDIA drivers on a given distro. If you're sticking around after the first section, thank you, and I hope you find this section and the ones that follow helpful and informative. So, in this section, I plan on installing the Pac-Man repository, which holds a lot of media-oriented packages, whether it be codecs, multimedia players like VLC, or content creation tools like OBS. Don't confuse OpenSUSE's Pac-Man repository with the Pac-Man package manager from Arch. They're two totally separate things. So first, I'm going to start up Yast. Okay, so I'll click on the Software Repositories button in the YAS panel. The Open H.264 codec is a new addition since the last time I installed OpenSUSE, and it's a welcome surprise. Not all of the codecs you may be used to on something like Ubuntu or Mint, assuming you even really thought about codecs on Ubuntu or Linux Mint, are readily installed out of the box on OpenSUSE. Because they're non-free, proprietary, patented, or some combination of those three. To install most codecs, you have to add the Pac-Man or the Pac-Man Essentials repo. In the case of Open264, Cisco, the company practically synonymous with all things computer networking one way or another, found a way to give OpenSUSE users access to this codec for free and presumably legally. But getting back on track, I go with regular Pac-Man because there are extra apps that don't seem to be in the Essentials repo, like OBS. As well, truthfully, I don't really know if I'll need something in the future that wouldn't be in the Essentials repo. The Pac-Man repo's ability to remain a commonly used repository relies on remaining safe and not distributing malicious software, especially now with solutions such as Flatpaks and Distrobox becoming increasingly viable alternatives. Some Hawkeye OpenSUSE users notice that there are definitely some differences in the naming of dependencies that could have a ripple effect of breakage on a given system, but it doesn't seem like that would happen often. And again, the people relying on the repo would at the very least discuss any such breaking issue online, assuming the breaking change doesn't keep them from getting on the internet. I've been using OpenSUSE daily, this video is produced on an instance of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, and the only problem I've had is losing access to a USB Wi-Fi adapter because of a conflict between the drivers I had to manually install. Drivers that were added right into the Linux kernel. I got that adapter working again, if you're wondering. Anyways, back to our previously scheduled system configuration video. Okay, so I'll click the add button near the bottom right corner of the Yes screen. Here, I'll click on the Community Repositories radio button and next on the bottom left corner of the screen. Reading list of online repositories. Okay, asked. Here, I'll check the Pac-Man repository option at the top of additional online repositories and click the OK button on the lower right corner of the screen. Now, Yes will go out and add the repository. Oh, it's going to ask me if I trust the repo, and I will confirm that I do. And we wait as the system downloads the repo data. And we have it. Now to install VLC and OBS.